Hey guys, Trailer Ranger here, and we're having some fun with machetes. We're at the old place, clearing out these massive bushes right here. Yeah, <laughs> which is why we're using a machete. That and snakes. And snakes, yeah. Yeah, you guys don't know this, this guy, but he's my dad. Goes by Beaker. Some people know him, some people don't know him. But and when some you. Some that know him don't admit it. And some just don't want to admit it. But if you get to know him, you're never going to forget him. Something you need to know about machetes is that you got to swing them to your side because if you swing them if you swing them in front of you sometimes it'll swing a bit too far and you can end up cutting yourself which is why you swing to your side so that doesn't happen so, I'm at another place we lived at, we had just moved in, and we had bushes like this in the front yard. So, I go out with the machete and start swinging, because it's laughing at hedge trimmers, electric or otherwise. So I'm out there swinging a machete, and up comes a cop car. Uh, can I help you, officer? He goes, yeah. You got a report about a guy out here swinging a machete? I said, yeah, that'd be me. He goes, why are you swinging a machete? I said, because it's laughing at everything else I got, and the only thing that's taking it down is a machete. He goes, okay. He goes, any other reason? I said, yeah, snakes. He goes, you got snakes? I go, yeah. He goes, okay, carry on. I said, don't like snakes, do you? He goes, nope. I said, neither do I. I said, you'll know if I kill one, because you'll hear, there can be only one, over hill and yawn. <laughs> so, it's not my first time using a machete to cut down brush. It's fun. It's a great way to get out of aggression. But I'll tell you right now, my shoulder on down is going to hate me tomorrow. <laughs> but this needs to be done because we've been trying to get everything out of this place for the last three years. But then I was having trouble with dialysis. Then I had open heart surgery. Then I had lung surgery. Then I recovered from that and I got a damn hernia. It's like, for the love of God. It's like I keep telling people, I am the Acropolis. I am the Parthenon. I am old and crumbling. I am possibly haunted and probably cursed, but I'm still standing. So there you go. When the machete isn't enough, Sometimes we need to go medieval. On its ass. <laughs> it's the first sword I ever bought. Bought it at a Renaissance festival. Pretty much a wall hanger. Can't really put a bunch of an edge on it. But for something like this, it works pretty effectively. Knocks the thinner stuff down pretty easily. Thicker stuff it ain't gonna do shit on. But this, it knocks down pretty good. So, yeah, he can use a machete. I can use a sword. And when need be, we can use the trimmers 
get the other stuff out. This one's got, just looks like one big thing right there. Everything else is kind of small. This should be one of the easier ones to tear out. Yeah, hopefully. Effective. Tell you right now, you want a workout, this will do it. <laughs> Try this new technique that bodybuilders refuse to use. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, it's Charlie's turn with the sword. Yep. Give it a shot, man. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, the good thing about the sword, as opposed to the machete, is you can two-hand it, have a little more power behind it. Yeah, this seems like a one-handed sword. Yeah, but we got small hands, so you can fit two on there easily. Ooh. Here we see Charlie demonstrating the Darth Vader two-handed technique as he goes at it like a Sith Lord in fury. The force is with you, young Bush, but you are not yet a Jedi. <laughs> Feel the power of the dark side burning inside you. Burning, burning, bur oh, nope, that's burritos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the force I have to use. The bathroom I must go. Oh, I dropped the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we found the keys to the shed, and look what we found. High tech, or medium tech. Anyway, it's been doing the job. We cleared all that out, a good chunk of it, using that thing. Point is, sometimes you gotta go electric. Charlie, that stuff. Over here, too? The, right in front of you. Oh. Yeah. Get that. More towards the house. What? More towards the house, the stuff in the back. plan on that is to try and make spaces in between each one so we can come in at different angles and get more of the stuff down but you got to get all the little crap out of the way so you can get the stuff so all right you want to trade off yeah all right 
All right. It's the Black & Decker Weed Cutter. It's the multi-purpose too. It slices, it dices, it circumcises. <laughs> uh, hi. Hi, Akawa. Me and Daga. Hi, buddy. See, that would be bad. Yeah, I, I had that happen to me earlier. Whew. It'll be just as much of a workout using this thing. Because after a while, it gets heavy. And I'm old. It really does. I'm an old man, you see. I remember back in 19, no, 18, no, <laughs> last month, <laughs> the president was the first lady of theater, Helen Hayes, and everybody was doing a dance called the Funky Beaker. Yatta da, yatta da, yatta. <laughs> <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my grandpa Simpson. <laughs> Good day for this. Not a cloud in sight. Absolutely nowhere. Okay, break time. So after all of that work, which took longer than it seems, we got all of this done. And whatever was over there is now in here. Now, understand something. This did not come without injury. <laughs> That's my left hand. Right hand's fine. The crooked finger's normal. That's That's been there. Yeah. But the left hand, yeah, it's chewed up. So, we'll be alcohol swabbing it and band-aiding it and everything else. But you know what the big thing is? Yeah, it was a lot of hard work. Yeah, we're tired. Yeah, we're hungry. But we got it done. But the big thing is for me, is I got, time to, I got to spend time with Charlie which I don't get to do a lot because of my health. We had a good time, we talked, we laughed, we worked hard, and we got to spend time together, just me and him. And that to me is the most important thing in the world, is spending time with my boys. Because when I was younger, people always asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Now the question should be, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to do when you grow up is your employment, you know, education, etc. What you want to be, I always told everybody, I wanted to be a dad. It took me 36 years, but I finally got one. It took me until 42 to have the other one. I'll tell you right now, with all my health problems, I keep on pushing because the one thing I wanted to grow up and have is a little face look up at me and go, hi, daddy. Now, I want to grow up and have another little face look up at me and go, Hi, Grandpa. That's my next goal. But right now, it's all about doing some hard work, getting things cleaned up, and spending time with my boy. So there you go. All right. Charlie will finish the sign off once we get home and have some pizza and some soda or whatever. And then we'll, he'll take a hot shower 
and I'll take a hot shower and we'll both take some Tylenol. Because <laughs> we need it. Oh, are we going to need it? So, well, folks, it was good being on his podcast for the first time. Not really a podcast, more of a vlog. Okay. Yeah. But whatever. I'm old. I don't know the technical terms. <laughs> you know, I'm still trying to figure out how the things get on that screen when you're using that typewriter thingy on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> really showing your age with that one. Wow. Ah, 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 and ah, here we have the Neanderthal in its natural habitat with its rush hat, Edgar Allan Poe shirt, and flannel jacket. I resemble that remark. <laughs> so, peace, guys. It's great, great seeing you all. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Check out Charlie on a regular basis. Do some feedback. Let him know what you think about him. So, he'll do the final sign-off when he gets home. For now, this is Beaker signing off. Peace. And you can expect to see more of him later on in the channel. See you guys later.